You will fight me, Mr. Walrus, or you will die! What's up, everyone? Super Auto Gaming here. And God, before we start anything, that intro, that's going to give me nightmares. Bro, I don't even know how I found that either. It's from a movie called Tusk, and it's not even that old. It's like a few years old. Uh, I I saw that, and I was like, yep, that's it. That's got to be it. Originally, I was going to do um, something with Odd Taxi. If any of you have ever seen that, it's an anime uh, about, you know, a guy who is a walrus who drives around a taxi. It goes a little more in-depth than that, but I don't want to spoil anything, so that's what that's about. Um, let's actually get into this game, though. It's about Walrus, of course. Uh, that's why I'm talking about Odd Taxi and Tusk. So I'm here on the Greed Pack. You saw what what version of it is this time. And uh, we are going to speed through this game a little bit because it was actually over 17 minutes long. And you'll find out why it was that long uh, momentarily when you realize that we have to do a little bit of chicken gaming. Any chicken game with um, hamster. So, of course, yeah, we're going to have hamster with it, too. We're looking for the full 50-50 team of walrus. Is walry? I think it's walruses. Or maybe it's just walrus. I don't know. Uh, let's, let's not dwell on it, though. Okay, we don't need to dwell on any of this. We are also going to get... Um, goldfish in here. So having goldfish with uh, chicken works out very well. So we're actually going to go through a little bit on the best way to get a 50-50 shop, at least if you are doing it in custom packs. So of course you want to use the greed pack that I showed there in the beginning. Um, and one of the best units to keep throughout the, you know, the first maybe eight to 10 turns is moth. Moth is really good to have because it gives you the free stats. Anything that gives you temporary stats is always going to be pretty good. So Hatching Chick is really good. Moth is really good. Um, anything that decreases uh, the amount of gold that pets cost. So Goldfish is super good for that. Um, of course, getting Blobfish is really nice. Anything to give you early experience onto some of these pets. Uh, always works out really well. Most of the tier ones that I actually use when I'm going for this are like, they're nothing tier ones. They, they don't matter. A, a lot of pig, a lot of beaver, duck, uh, units like that, because you, you basically want to transition out of them very quickly. Also, when you get chicken, you want to just, any tier one that you buy, sell, you want it to be good. So Marmoset is another one. Marmoset's actually really, really good for this. Uh, because if you do have a hamster and you buy sell it, say, you know, it's three gold, you, you buy sell it, you get this, the buffs from chicken, and then you sell it, you get the one gold back, and then you get another gold from hamster. So all around, um, the tier ones and tier twos that you pick uh, matter a little bit. They normally are just whatever, anything that you can get a little bit of extra value with. So, um, and for tier twos, I have like dromedary, uh, goldfish. Spider, anything that, you know, Stork I have as well. Anything that I can pill and maybe get a, a better unit out of uh, is always really good to have. Um, and then basically anything that's a buy-sell unit I have, uh, just anything to give uh, a little bit more value. Most of the, the buffers I have, Giraffe, Penguin, Poodle, um, a few of the, the food guys. Of course, Squirrel is really good now, Rabbit. Um, I'm kind of just going through a lot of it. Uh, another really good one to have is goat. So if you do have the setup with with uh, goat and chicken, we actually do not run dragon though because we're not worried about the pets that are actually on our board. We are worried about the pets that are in the shop. So anything that helps with pets in the shop is definitely what we're going for. Um, I still do run like cat and fox just in case that I do get a can. Might as well double up those stats. You know what I'm saying? So, so far we're, we're getting pretty good here and like the game hasn't like even started for us yet. It's turn 10. We're at six wins. The game, game's not even going for me yet. We're, we're just starting. Okay. I have no, no team really. So it's, it's very nice to be at seven hearts this late. And, uh, it's very nice to be able to potentially throw a little bit. 
Uh, one important thing to remember with Hamster, if you do have a level 2 and a level 1, is don't make the mistake that I just did there. You actually want to combine the level 1 into the level 2, so you can actually get more, um, more free rolls, basically. Or wait, it might have worked there. I'm not sure. But it, make sure that you combine your Hamsters properly to get uh, that little bit of extra uh, stats. So... Now that we have our chicken, we probably want to get it a little bit heftier, you know, level two, maybe level three would be good. And um, I'm pretty OK with losing at this point. We have a few lives, so I'm definitely fine with losing. Um, of course, can probably isn't needed. Yeah, OK. Thank goodness I sold that because it's much better just to get chocolate or pill or something along those lines. Even throw this lioness in here just to get a few more stats a little quicker. It's always good to have. Uh, getting the level 3 hamster will be really important. It's actually almost paramount. Uh, being able to have 6 more rolls is kind of insane. You you find a lot more uh, tier 1s. You basically just find any other things that you desperately need. Um, and then of course goldfish has just been popping off for us. So that's a free blobfish right there. Since it is level three, it discounts it by three. Uh, we even get the, the free chocolate. Oh, it's actually, we get one gold back if we do sell it. So, uh, we're actually getting the one gold instead of, uh, buying the chocolate. But normally what I want to do is I want to use most of my rolls with hamster, level it up. Now that it's level three, we have even more rolls. Use all of those rolls. Just freeze stuff as you're rolling because it's free. You can just keep doing it. And then after all of your free rolls are up, that's when you can start actually playing stuff. Of course, if you do have a bit more gold, then you can uh, play a couple of things just to free up the shop a little. You, you don't want everything to be frozen in there and you're just rolling for nothing. Uh, but as you can see, we have six rolls. I think we even had four. So we had 10 extra rolls that we had. And at this point, you know, our whole shop is filled up. And um, so it works out amazingly well. And I didn't really want to sell anything here because we have the full the full setup. We've got three chickens, one level two. We've got the level three hamster and we have the level three goldfish. So we are basically getting, you know, free everything at the start. Um, and now... It's not time to sell the goldfish quite just yet. We can get the level two chicken here, and now we can get plus four, plus four every time we play um, a unit in the shop. Marmoset here is going to be really good for us because when we roll it, we get the, the free gold as well. Um, and now we have a bunch of extra rolls that we can use. Here I'm looking at what I really want to go for, and because uh, I thought actually about going for a full praying mantis team. That would be really funny. That's like the full... Um, absolute greed. Imagine, imagine that. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I don't know how well it'll do because you have to get to nine wins first and then you can play all of your, um, Mantis. Mantis is Mantis. Dude, everything ends with S. I'm, I'm sick of it. Um, uh, but that way it'd be really, really hard because you have to have, like, say you have two on board. Um, even then you have to have something that they can sack between each turn and if you have chicken, it's uh, you'd only have one chicken really. It'd have to be in the middle, so you're losing out a lot of uh, on a lot of other value units. But what I could do, I suppose, is freeze five in the shop and then last turn sell everything and play them all. It'd be kind of difficult, but you know I'm down for the the difficult challenges. You know me. So here we only need to play. We, we technically don't even need to play one more, but I'm doing it anyways just to make sure that. Uh, Walrus is in fact 50-50. We are missing one health on a couple other units, but they can go fuck themselves. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you see there, I freeze the Mantis. I still think that I'm going for it, but at this point I'm like, no, I've already found two Walrus. I might as well just keep going with that. And um, thank goodness that we had the Hamster, because I don't think that this would have been doable. But at this point, we can finally get rid of the goldfish. It doesn't really do too much for us. So we can get rid of the goldfish and the, the chicken and uh, just roll. That's all we got to do is roll. Actually, pretty good that we tie here. I, I, I really enjoy that. Being able to get one extra turn to make sure that we find them all is super worth it. Get rid of the chicken. Might as well keep the goldfish. It does a little bit more for us if we do happen to freeze a walrus. So 
Might as well do that. And we're just looking. We get six extra rolls every turn, so there's no way that we can't find it. Um, yeah, you'd think. You would think. We have one more turn. Um, that would be at least... It'd be more than 16 gold because we do we can sell goldfish for three. Maybe a walrus shows up at the start here. And it does. Actually, we do get a walrus for free. Super good. Actually, kind of cracked if you ask me. Um, and I don't know why I pair there. I probably should have found the last walrus first because I'm about to set myself up for failure if I don't find it. And that would be really rough. Um, but we do get a lot of chances and we can even sell the uh, hamster. Boom. There we go, an extra three gold. Didn't matter, but we did finally find it. Absolutely massive. This is a nightmare team, I'm telling you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you did. And you know what? Have a beautiful day.